It is a habit turned tradition thanks to the famous Christmas song. And 20 years ago, if you were planning on roasting chestnuts over an open fire, you'd find the biggest plot of them in West Salem, just outside of La Crosse. And tonight, Leah Linscheid takes us there. It was a good picture of my dad right here. Scott Bachenhauer's father is a man rooted in Western Wisconsin tradition. Both his parents were 100% German, so he's set in his ways. <laughs> Here, here's a picture of me and dad toe to toe. A famously stubborn farmer whose family is a fixture outside West Salem. Set in his ways. Yeah. Ron Bachenhauer was a tough nut to crack. There was two ways, his way or no way. Much like another nut found growing on his farm. It was about the time he retired that he found out there were American chestnut trees. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. When Nat King Cole first sang the Christmas song, he might as well have been talking about West Salem, where years before it became tradition to roast them, it became Ron's tradition to tend to his beloved chestnuts. Charles Carroll wasn't actually on the farm. He sent a person to interview him. They became a legend to the rest of the world. But he wrote in his retirement, the old railroad man become a chestnut man. And a good thing for us, he did. Once known to be the largest stand of healthy chestnut trees found anywhere. People all over the world know about this site. People who are in Switzerland who work on chestnuts know about West Salem. And that's, that's a pretty cool thing, I think. Like life often does, though, that has changed. The past two decades have decayed Ron's chestnut stand, beaten nearly to death by blight. For a number of years, there were no seeds produced at all. None. But Ron's hard work here wasn't in vain. Researchers across the country have come to the stand's rescue, working by his side for years to restore health to this hillside. And what we're doing is trying to make the infection that the tree has more like the common cold. That work continued even after Ron's death in 2010. He left his farm to me, so yeah. Kind of tough. <laughs> Been five years. So, but it's the way it is. It's life, it's death. It's here where Scott goes to remain close to his father. You can find him too in Ron's Little Reminders, a picnic table he built for researchers, a bench for visitors. And if you look close enough, you can find hope here too. The hope is in these new seedlings with this leaf. They're still alive. Scott is still working with researchers, in place of Ron now, to preserve his father's forest. See the leaves back there? So far, he's had some luck. There's foliage coming out right at the base, which is a regrowth from that tree. Once barren, many of these trees have begun producing chestnuts again, with tough outer edges, as stubborn as the Bachenhauers. I hope so. I hope they're stubborn than we are, because they'll be, they'll be here forever then. And for Scott, forever is the goal. That's the thing about traditions. They only die out if you let them. In West Salem, I'm Leah Lynchide for WISC News 3. Beautiful story there. Leah Lynchide, of course, reporting. Researchers, by the way, are seeing results in the West Salem chestnut stand.